The betrayal theory implies the Traco partnered with Johnny Ola and Hyman Roth. And that he informs them how to shoot up Michael's bedroom. They bungled the hit and he eliminate the Roth soldiers. In some versions of the theory, Rocco is believed to have planted the idea to eliminate Roth as a way to redeem himself in Michael's eyes. But on the other hand, Vito wanted Michael to make Rocco a big player in his inner circle. He was handpicked to eliminate Paulie Gatto and Clemenza vouched for Rocco. The Don trusted him and saw him as a good advisor and military operator for Michael. Rocco was wrong to say difficult, not impossible, when it came to Roth's death. Yes, he did the job. But a good counselor tells the boss no when the chances of dying are absolute. If Rocco wasn't a traitor, he may have simply felt responsible for the hit as he was in charge of security at the Lake Tahoe. Michael needed Rocco alive more than he needed Roth dead. In Godfather Part 1, Rocco built a secret regime with the Don's blessing as Michael took over the family. He was used to being watched by experienced eyes and he served in the army like Michael did. There are no reasons for him to consider betraying Michael. Now Michael has lost something that is indeed precious, a trustworthy associate who completely understands the business. The Don would have either let Roth live or have gotten him eliminated later in a safer location. This was an example of Michael going too far with his need to even the score at all costs. In all of the drafts that were written for The Godfather Part 3, Rocco was revealed to have survived the injuries he received at the end of Part 2 and remains an active member of the family. But the actor who portrayed Rocco, Tom Rosqui, died from cancer in 1991 and was consequently written out of the script for Part 3. However, Coppola originally intended for The Godfather Saga to end with Part 2, which leaves the reasoning for Rocco's death open to interpretation.